Hi, welcome to Photo Education Online. This is Larry Lercy, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Curves tool. The Curves tool is something that a lot of people, especially people starting out in Photoshop, don't use because they don't quite understand how it works. Um, a lot of times you'll just use Levels because uh, it's a little kind of a little more simplified version uh, of working with kind of the same information. But Curves is very powerful, and I, it's something you should at least familiarize yourself with. And so I'm going to kind of give you just a quick overview of what it is and what it does. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough to get you uh, experimenting with it a little bit. So let's just jump right in here. I've got an image pulled up. And uh, we're just going to go here in the Layers palette down here to this little circle and hit Curves. It's going to bring up our Curves window right here. And this is what we're looking at here basically is the histogram, which uh, you're probably familiar with how the histogram works. It's where the information is. This is your darker pixels down here and your lighter pixels. Um, and what it's doing, it's showing us how many of each pixel we have. There's not very, not as much light here as much as there is these darker areas, which makes sense because we've got a lot of this dark and uh, mid-tones up through here. Um, there's two sides to this graph. Down here is the input, and up here is the output. So this is the image that's coming in as it stands right now, and uh, this is where it would go after making the adjustment. So here's how this works. Let's just pick a point on here, and you click on here, and it makes a little anchor point. And... Um, Basically, if you were to move it way up here, like that, what you're saying is this level of gray right here, that it, how it was, is now this level of gray right there. So you can see there's a big difference between that and that. And sure enough, our image shows that it's gotten a lot lighter. Uh, on the other hand, if you say, um, I want this level of light to be this dark. You can pull it way down, it's going to get really funky looking. But as you can see, areas that were this light are now gray. So it's given us a crazy look. But that's essentially what you're doing here is you're saying, I want it to go from this to this. And you do that by grabbing a little anchor point and moving it. So, and while we're doing this, let me kind of show you really quickly down here uh, what these two buttons that I use the most are. This one goes back to what you had. So if you do something and you do a bunch of things to it and you go, well, that looks terrible, uh, you just hit this little back arrow and it takes you back to the original image. Um, also, if you get something um, like that, you think, well, that looks pretty good, you can hit this little eye, and as long as you hold it down, it shows you there was the before, and let go, after. So there's before and after. And then again, just reset to make it go away. So starting out, uh, there's a couple of easy ways that you can use this, and the first is just hitting the Auto button right here. You can see what it does is it, it gives it a little more snap if we do the before, there's the before and the after. It's darkened it up a bit. And, you know, auto, like most of the time, uh, when you automate something, it's going to get you close, it's going to get you in the ballpark, but you're probably going to want to come back later and um, tweak things a little bit more and maybe lighten it or darken it, but it might get you in the neighborhood. Second thing you can do is just go up here to these presets and, you know, say they're pretty, most of them are pretty descriptive. Lighter is just going to lighten it up. You click on that, lightens the whole image. There's the before, after. Uh, maybe you want to make it uh, increase the contrast. There you go. Before, after. Not as crazy about that one myself. So you've got those options. Um, another really cool option is right up here. It's this little hand with the arrows. And if you click on that, then when you move out here, you're going to choose an area. So you say, like, I want to work on this, uh, the, the really dark tones of the shoes. Um, you click. And you drag down to darken or light to brighten. And it's just working in that range of, of where that particular image is. So we're going to darken that a little bit. And then let's say, well, that's made her legs a little too dark. So I'm going to pick an area in here, drag up a little bit, and we can lighten the legs back up. Same thing. You can go through, say, I think this floor is a little too bright. Um, now, anything in that range, including her hair, is going to be darkened. But I can grab here, darken it down a little bit just a touch, and it, it darkens those lighter areas. Here's the before, after. So it just kind of tightens up the image a little bit. So that's kind of the easier way if you want to try and pick some spots and really adjust them is use this little hand tool, grab an area, lighten or darken. And, and you'll kind of get, you see it's making these anchor points as you go. And um, these are what you will adjust if you say, well, I think I want to bring this darker area even a little more darker. You're going to grab it and just drag down. If you want to make the lighter area a little bit lighter, I'm going to grab 
light up like that. So you're going to kind of move back around through this range and, until you get it how you like it. And um, the nice thing about using these on a layer like this is once we're done, let's say we've got it how we want it, close that up. You can see here on our layers palette that here's the original image underneath and we've set up curves on its own layer. Um, the nice thing about that, of course, you can turn it off, but you can also adjust the opacity. You say, oh, I went a little bit too far. Let me bring that back a little bit. You know, bring it down to 70% before, after. So you've got total control, and you know, you go back in later, you can uh, double click back in here. Whoops, on the wrong side. Double click right there, and it'll bring you right in, and, and you can go back and tweak it some more, and, uh, and just like that. So your options are still open. It's not like you're doing one thing to it and you're stuck with it. You can always go back and, and play with those layers and get them to look exactly how you want. So that's a quick look at how Curves goes. Um, it really is uh, a powerful tool if you can get past the learning curve and get comfortable using it. And like I said, maybe go in, just try the auto for a while, and, and then just tweak some of those little points around a little bit until it's exactly how you like it. And uh, I think you'll find it's really helpful. So give that a shot, and be sure to check back for more tutorials in the future, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.